Not too long ago, Storytime YouTuber and everyone's favorite clickbait, Jaden Animations released a video where she ranked every plushie from the Pokemon Gen 5 sitting line, and there was one moment that really caught my attention. This is my, my pitch to the Pokemon company. You need to make Rog and Rolla pencil sharpeners. I think that merch goes crazy. Well, you know I like beating the Pokemon company at their own game. So the concept of a Rog and Rolla pencil sharpener actually has a pretty deep history. Let's Play Titan Chugga Conroy actually demanded a Rog and Rolla pencil sharpener all the way back in 2011. But since then, there's been no evidence that any company or individual has made this seemingly obvious product. Uh, they did decide to make Rog and Rolla pencils, though. And I have a history of making things that the Pokemon company won't. So without further ado, let's Rog and Rolla. Yeah, that's definitely getting cut from the script. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get this model ripped straight from the games. Now in Mesh Mixer, we're just gonna completely dismember it. Now that we have two separate models, I need a way to actually physically access everything on the inside, so we're just gonna erase this here. Oops! And I think we're looking a little thin here. Uh... Nope! Extra thick! Nope! Okay, so I guess I just press this hollow button and voila! We have a model we can put things inside. Okay, now I'm in Blender and what I really want to do here is find a way to kind of go along the edges so I can remove the top that way. And yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Alright, I've futzed around with this for too long, I'm just gonna use the block tool to slice. Alright, now I've removed the eye and made it into its own little model. Uh, okay, yeah, quick pause here. Uh, after doing a little bit of extra research, it turns out that Rog and Rolla's orifice in the center of its body is, in fact, its, uh... Ear hole. I think that just ruined this Pokemon for me. I think that just ruined this Pokemon for you. And now we're gonna remove this portion of the eye so we have the golden pieces left but it's just a flat plane and not a solid object, so let's make it solid. Oh. The main problem here is me. I don't really know what I'm doing. Have you ever been there where it just seems like nothing is working, no matter how hard you try, no matter how big you believe? You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Okay, I figured it out. All right, time to buy a pencil sharpener. There it is. Let's get into this guy. All right, so we got this. Let's see how much we can maybe trim down here because this is kind of a chunky boy. Actually, we don't need this because this can just fall into the rock and roll. How much more can I remove though? I feel like. There's quite a bit of unnecessary guff. Okay, that's this. Ooh, yeah, that's grease. Don't don't touch eat that. Well, now this pops off. Just we'll just keep it to this thing, and the battery cover. Yeah. This is annoying. <laughs> that almost fits into my prototype perfectly, but we are going to have to make some adjustments here. Ew, it's so greasy! Ugh! One hour later. Okay, so here's a fun issue. You see this little tab right here? When you have the collector in place, it pushes down this tab. And normally, when you push down this tab, this little metal piece makes contact with this metal piece, which makes contact with this metal piece when you put the pencil in. But for whatever reason, when I glued everything into place, it made everything lose its conductivity. So I was thinking like, man, I wish I had some sort of conductive glue that I could attach this piece to this piece. And I'm like, I do. It's called solder. Why are you not welding? Please weld. I would prefer if you welded right now. So this is when I learned that not every single metal plays nicely with solder. Alright, yep. I have a big old glob of solder. That's what we're gonna do right here. 
Look at that. A textbook way of doing things. All right, I think I did it, finally. Criminies. I could have just taped down some aluminum foil instead. Yep, well, lessons for next time. Time to take measurements off camera. So after doing all of the measurements, there's a bunch of design things I did, like making sure it was in the sitting position to match the plushie that Jaden reviewed in her video. He sits phenomenally well. Oh, that was designed to sit. And there's a couple more hidden features I designed, and we'll get to those later, but first, we need to print everything out. So here's the three filaments I used. If you're interested, they're in the description below. Now roll that time lapse. Bada bing, bada boom. All the pieces were printed out. But some of the parts were a bit rough around the edges. So it was time for me to take out my sander and start using rock polish. It's it's a joke because Rog and Rolla can learn rock polish, but it can't learn it past Gen 7 because I guess Gigalith is just too good of a Pokemon? I digress. And after putting all the pieces together, Rog and Rolla is complete. Now about those hidden features, both of its feet and the tip of its head are all attached by magnets. And when you need to get inside, the top of its head is also attached by magnets. But it's time to put everything to the test. Can I sharpen this Ticonderoga pencil with my Rog and Rolla? Everything I've done, all of my trials and tribulations, have led up to this moment. But if you could sharpen pencils, though. If he was a pencil sharpener, S tier. It works! It works! Oh. Oh, yeah. Looking sharp. Now all I have to do is take a quick victory dump. So, Chugga Conroy and Jane Animations, if you want one of these, I'd be more than happy to make you one, especially now that I know what I'm doing. I knew that would happen.